Hey guys, welcome back to Caesar 3 and we're here on the seventh assignment where we're gonna be going into Tarsus, a largely peaceful province. Now here on Tarsus we're gonna be using a spiral block design and the mission's gonna be split to three parts. So in this video, in phase one, we're gonna be establishing our main spiral. In phase two, we're gonna be fully developing that main spiral and starting to expand into other spirals. And in phase three, we're gonna build our way up to villas. So let's go ahead and get this mission started. Syria and Judea recently joined our empire, but I question the depth of their loyalty. We require a major new trading port in the reliable border state of Cilicia. Build a city of 6,000 at Tarsus to project Rome's power near our new clients in the east. You will be pleased to know that you need not grow food in Tarsus. This desert province has no farmland whatsoever. You must instead import all the food that you need. Many of Rome's eastern provinces chafe under our rule, and our legions are needed on other frontiers. You might face some military threats in the region. Although we have no sworn enemies there, neither do our allies waste any love on us. Defend your city and raise a legion or two of your own. Unlike Hispania or Gaul, where the natives are easily impressed, this region of the world has known civilization since ancient times. Your city of Tarsus must therefore achieve high ratings if it is to demonstrate Roman superiority. Finally, you would do well to show them how profitable trade can be in the Roman Empire. All right, so here we are on Tarsus. Trade to survive and that part about importing uh, Importing all the food you need is a lie. We do have fishing on this map. Anyway, let's go ahead uh, The ratings also are quite high by the way favor 80 peace 60 culture 65 prosperity 60 population 6,000 That's kind of been the standard so far. Let's go ahead and get to the city uh, And here we are welcome to Tarsus. We've got some zebras running around. Let's slow the game down Let's, there's the music coming on in, and you can see there is fishing, lots of flat coasts, so there's actually a lot of fishing on this map. Anyway, in the start of this mission, I'm going to be setting up a new block design. Of course, it's a new block design, that's part of the challenge of this whole series. Uh, it's a new block design, but it's, uh, it's interesting, it's a spiral block. So, I'm gonna draw the road layout here. So, one, two, three. Yeah, and then I need to notch this over. I've done a little bit of experimenting here. Uh, one, two, three. And notch that over a little bit there. And this road is going to extend that way. This is gonna clear off here. And we have one, two, three. Uh, and then this is gonna go one, two, three. One, two, three. So this is a spiral block with three gap between the roads. So we can have a two by two house where the roads can access that on both sides. Except for this side where we need a four gap. So it's it's a little specific. One, two, three. So there we go, another three gap. One, two, three. And that's gonna come up to there. And that is our basic road design, okay? and. Then we're going to go ahead and get a gatehouse coming out from this side. And it's going to match up with the gatehouse on this side. And we're going to clear this road. And because we have the convenience of this being a four gap, I can have just two gatehouses back to back like that. And on this side, instead of having a road connection, it's just going to be blocked by... Uh, let me just check. Uh, this should be all correct, yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, like that. And I'm gonna just block that with a small statue. So, technically, things can still go past this gate because a garden counts as a road. So things using a shortcut can still come through here. Uh, and, well, that... Gardens kind of just default count as roads as well. But also, you can see I've aligned this block to be very nice to use single tile gardens with these little trees on. This is the only garden tile that I actually like the look of. 
Ah. Uh, and just to double check, difficulty is on very hard. Yes, okay. Uh, 6k is the starting funds for very hard on Tarsus, says uh, Prefect. I think I did start with 6,000, right? Yeah. So this is going to be our starting city, uh, starting block rather, and we're going to have... Uh, I'm going to leave a little space around here. We're going to have these houses move in like this. We're going to have a house there. We're going to have a house there. So we're going to get our population up to just below uh, 200 people. Let's make sure everywhere has sort of good access to housing on the outside blocks. And I probably should have a house there as well. And a house there as well. One, two, one, two. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus that. That should get us just below 200. Just below 200. Uh, awesome solution to build up houses, spiral design. Uh, it looks nice. It's not the most efficient, but we are not going for efficiency. Mm. Now, prefectures. We're going to need a lot of prefectures because this is a desert map. So I'm going to put one here. And I'm going to put uh, one here. And then I'm going to have... Basically, you need one prefecture on each side of the road. And we actually kind of need a little bit, bit of housing on this side, I think. If I... If I put a house there, that's a bit too much housing, I think. Is there any particular... I guess we don't need... So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 becomes 20 people each. Actually, no, that's fine. That's fine. I can have those two houses. That should actually be below 200 people. Uh, we're putting down prefectures. We're going to need... Do we need any more? I do... Uh, not yet, I think. That should cover everything for prefectures. Engineer's post, not as stressful. Uh, I can put one just over here. Yeah, we'll put one there. And then we'll put one here. And I'll put one here. Because there's no buildings on the outside block. It's sort of, it throws you off if you're not paying attention. Nothing needs to be protected on this outer road quite yet. Now, our trade. Let's focus on what we can sell. So we're all the way here. Tarsus, all the way. Right behind my head. Right there. And we can trade with Damascus, which buys marble. It uh, should be a land trade route. Uh, we can sell weapons and furniture. So two places buy weapons. Okay. Two places buy marble. But this place also buys furniture. Quite a bit of furniture. Two shields. Okay. So we've got marble, furniture, and weapons. So the only main place where we can get iron. We do have iron as a raw material, right? Marble, iron, timbiar. So those are our three exports. The only iron mines are right here on the island. And I'm not sure if I want to expand there quite yet. So I might want to just start with the... this 400 denarii, the furniture export to get things started. Is this a land or is it... A, it is a land trade route. Okay. So we can start getting things going on this outer area. So I'm going to need to prep this area for food. So this is all going to be like, I'm going to clear this off a little bit. There's plenty of trees on this map. So this road here will be for fishing wharves, basically. And that's going to come down there, right? And then we'll need to get past the immigration block, right? Once these people move in, I'll just need to prep. Uh, I suppose a furniture industry could go along here, like along this road. That would actually be quite nice. So I can have, yeah, timber yards and stuff over here. And there will actually be sort of a, we could have a road coming along here as well. 
to expand our fishing industry if we so desire. So you can see, all of these roads coming out of the spiral uh, are fine. We don't need houses along these roads because they'll all come down this way and touch these houses from the outside. So it's going to be perfect. Perfect. And we can just sort of... Where would we set up our initial furniture industry? It'll be going along here, I think. So we would break the road about there. I'll just preemptively break that. Ah, yes, water. We do need to prep for water. So I'm going to go ahead and align some reservoirs. I've already measured this before. So I'm going to need a reservoir here. And... Uh... I think it's supposed to be... It can go nine tiles, I think. Right? So this is going one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think it can... I sh could move that one back, but I basically need this to go... Um, one... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do I need the reservoir that close? I think I do, right? So I'll need a reservoir there. We'll get this one set up first. Uh, but I think this one is actually a little too close. Right there. Hook up an aqueduct. Of course I missed. <laughs> Hook that up. Can we? What's, what's up with this? There we go. So that should get things started. Uh, basically it's two into there. So it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, it is ten tiles. Okay, so this one will reach one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up until there. Okay. That should function fine. Now, how do I get around this? Can I fit a reservoir right here? I think I can, right? And that will still allow for a wharf to be built there. Perfect. So we can have this come out like that. An aqueduct just squeeze through like this. That looks nice and should be functional. I may want to get iron going early. There are invasions. Uh, yes, I do know there are basically all desert maps have invasions, right? <laughs> but building a ship bridge to this side, it's going to be so expensive. I mean, there's, there's no short connection unless it's from this side? Uh, actually, I suppose you could. If, can I put a low bridge? I can put a low bridge here. To quickly access this side. Which would not be the worst thing. Distant battle. Yeah, they're already on the way. Ah... So my furniture industry is going to be here. I mean, I could have a... No, I do definitely need a ship bridge, right? If I wanted to bridge there. A low bridge can go here because nothing will ever come down this way. So I guess uh, I will just... How much would it cost? 200? I'll preemptively just connect this up and prep for some industry to go along here. I guess we don't need any of these current trees right there, right? Clear off all of those. So people are starting to move in. Let's just make sure we prioritize water services, prefectures and engineering, and governance and religion, because once we put down uh, the temples, we need to make sure they're working. Okay. so. Water coverage should be fine. Yeah, so I could technically pull this one back, but just in case I'll leave it there for now. And I'll wait for these people to move in before I create a bit of a well maze, because this is a bit of a short distance. But we can create a well maze if we cut through here. We'll cut through there. 
And then we're gonna need to do a bit of a block there. And we can do a bit of a block here. And I don't think they can pass any of that. And then they can come back down this way. Right? And to check, I'm gonna just... Ah, there we go. We need to make sure there is actually a clear path all the way around the back of this. Which I think there should be now. Right? Yes. Okay. So that's gonna be pretty much our well maze. Which should be enough. It should be. That's a pretty big path they have to take. That's a pretty big path. Okay. So now, we wait until the population goes up. And then we're gonna have to block this. Uh, we do need to block here. Like that. And we will need to block here. With wells. Wells are tedious, but they are... Is that blocked? That should be blocked, right? Yeah. Okay, so let me just check population. Unemployment of 27%? Jeez, that, that was... I guess temples go down now. Okay, let's get all the temples going. Uh, we're gonna need a temple down this side, so I guess I will put Venus right in the middle here. We can go ahead and put Ceres a little bit out. This will help with early desirability as well. Then we could have Neptune a little bit further out this way. And then we'll have Mars, maybe over here. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. And is that all five? No, Mercury. Mercury can go... Right here. No, here. We'll need something to, to mitigate the desirability effects here. But I'll save it for an oracle or something, because we do have marble on this mission. You know what, I'm gonna make it feel a bit more balanced by doing this. Okay, that looks good. That should help with unemployment. Oh, we should drop taxes before we forget. Let these people move in before we initiate the well maze. Because we need all these people moving in properly. <clears throat> There's a pretty obvious gap. What, this one? Yeah, I haven't initiated the well maze yet. Uh, but see, all this fishing, it's gonna be prepped and ready. We can have even more fishing along here, which... That should be good. We'll cle keep some of this clear here. And I guess we can just sort of get things started a little bit. So we can have a granary there. And I'm just going to go ahead and put... I'll replace this statue with a prefecture. And have an engineer's post right here. Just to make sure that granary doesn't burn down. Plebeians in Rome are jubilant over an increase in their wages. Ah, Rome is paying more, is it? Up to three? Okay. 21% unemployment. I guess with all of this, we could uh, just get things started, right? Couple wharves. Uh, what do we need? Uh, we need a shipyard, which can go right there. We're gonna need a prefecture. Is there a road there? Prefecture and engineer's post. We actually have space for one more wharf right there if we're being super efficient. Okay, that should mitigate some of the unemployment. We're now at 186, so all this is the last bit of people moving in. Is that a bit too much? I'm not sure if it's a bit too much, but there we go. We initiate the well maze. And now we boost population. So we can just go ahead and house all of this up. Leave room for services here and there, really. We don't need... All of that. Is it employees needed? Employees needed. 16 employees needed. Okay. 
188 with a couple more immigrants coming in. That's going to initiate the well maze there. And we can now start some fountains going. So we're going to need... What's the reach of this water? So we're going to need... The fountain to go there. Come on. And we're going to need a fountain to go... Here? Is that? What, what's the reach of fountains again? One, two, three? Is it three? Oh, I'm gonna need the fountain there and there, unfortunately. It's not exactly symmetrical, but I'm sure you'll forgive me for that. <laughs> I might fix it later. Fountains. What other fountains do we need? We need a fountain here. Uh, it'll be there. And there. Okay. Well, maze is initiated. We're at 190 population. I did the math correctly. Fantastic. Uh, we also need fountains coming along here. Is it one, two, three? So we're going to need a fountain there and a fountain here. And that should cover all of those houses. Yeah. And we're short by 41 employees. I guess we pulled that back a bit. Okay, okay. Ah. Oh. Don't forget doctors. I should not forget doctors. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> uh, I'll place doctors in a bit once, once this next wave of people move in. So there we go. We're doing the well maze because if we hit 200 people, between 200 and 300 people, there's an immigration glitch where... Um, Basically, people get super unhappy and uh, people start moving out. So this should be enough if I maybe block this off as well. That should delay them a little bit, allowing more people to start moving in. This should be enough. This should be enough, hopefully. Okay, and water coverage is actually okay. Almost symmetrical, but not. <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll fix that later. There we go. So once we cross 200 people, we'll get a people disgruntled message, which just to quickly overcome that, I will temporarily raise wages. Was it the, the max we can actually get from happiness with wages is eight above Rome, I think. So we're going to do that. There we go. That will be the people disgruntled message. That is an immigration bug. You can see people are annoyed with you until you hit 300 people. Once 300 people have moved in, then the bug is gone. All right, let's... Yeah, there we go. There we go. Ah. How are the gods feeling? They're pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, I forgot. Um... Hold a large festival to Mars to help with that first invasion, shall we? All right. I'm not sure if this is enough immigrants, actually. <laughs> uh, I hope it is, but it might not be. We sometimes have to go two rounds of this because of reasons, but we could get some military going. What is... Where are we being attacked from? The right side? Is this just two steps? So we've only got like one year, two years warning for an invasion. So I guess we do need to get a barracks down. How do I want to do this? I could have it along here. That seems like a prudent place to have a barracks. So I'm going to go ahead and put... This road I will extend a little bit to there, leaving room for some protection. The barracks can go there. The prefecture can go... The wharf goes up to here. Okay. Prefecture can go here. Engineer's post can go here. 
And again, we don't need any worker houses on that side. Oh, we actually crossed the 300. Yes, yes, I thought we were gonna have to do it again. I thought we were gonna have to do it again, but we did not have to. Nope, I clicked the wrong button. I meant this button. So short by six employees, is any food even coming in? No, we just finished our first boat. Okay, that's kind of crazy, but it's okay. There's the first festival. Unemployment of 3%, so we can start our... Timber industry. Timber yard. Timber yard. Workshop. Furniture. Um, one, two. I think I do need this a little bit longer. And I'm gonna need a warehouse for furniture which can be stored... Here? Maybe a little bit back. Or here. How is that engineer's post without employment? Is it too far? It shouldn't be too far. Well, furniture I guess I could keep here anyway. Or should I keep it separate? Should I keep it here? Should be fine. I'm gonna put it there. We're gonna store up our furniture here so that we can start selling it because we're about to run out of money. So we're gonna have a little bit of a gift, but then... Uh, workshop. Furniture. We've got a spirit to watch over our city, which is fantastic news. And I'm gonna have... the couple workshops, I guess. Total of four workshops, two timber yards. Maybe I should have started these over there. Oh well, that's fine. We've got 200 denarii left. People are moving in again. Fantastic, which means we can drop our wages back to what they need to be. Okay, going slow and careful. Slow and careful because uh, every time we start a new map, we're doing a new block design, which I've never done before. So <laughs> we have to be careful about that. Why is this idling? Oh, right. Wolf. That one's already fishing. Okay. Damage. Fire. Anything burning down. Oh, I forgot to put a prefecture on this side. Uh, so we're going one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Wait. There and there. Oof. Almost forgot that. Uh, that would be bad. Okay, speed things along. Is this all just desirability holding it back? Uh, that fountain should probably be one over, but then it wouldn't reach the middle. Yeah, we kind of need a fountain over on that side. I'll fix that later. We're about to run out of money. <laughs> How is our employment? We are short by 37. I'm going to go ahead and prioritize commerce, which is going to end food production. Do I want to do that? More pe Oh, right, I forgot. We need to clear off this well maze. Oh, zero denarii. Uh, I'm just going to sit here so we have one more month before Caesar gets upset with us. I forgot to clear the well maze. Uh, I think it's working out well. Looking at this, you can see the potential of how great it's going to look. Mm. You got through those funds quickly. Try to make these new funds last longer. Okay, okay. Uh, 1,500? Actually, that's fine. Yeah, let's clear off all of these stray wells. Make things look nice and even again. and Bring us back to nature. Okay. Fire. Damage. All okay.
the industry does take quite a bit of a hit. Uh, how do I... We're gonna continue our pattern here to get those houses evolved, bring in a few more people, because we need to get our exports started. And I'll preemptively clear that so there is actually a path onto this island. And I guess if I want to get this started, I will need to have some houses here. Do I need that connected? If I wanted to... Actually, no, we can't. Prefecture Engineer's Post. Okay, there we go. So fish is not coming in because we are prioritizing industry and commerce because I kind of just want some source of income. And we are short by 28 employees. I guess I will have to start bringing in some extra housing on this side, right? And to be safe, I will have... Well, the prefecture there, and the engineer's post here. No, here. Just to make sure those don't burn down. Short by 24 employees, okay. So, furniture is starting to come in. <laughs> it's starting to. Uh, uh, before I forget, I will also set furniture to export everything. Population's reached 500, okay. Uh, oh no, we do get three three steps. We do get three warnings for that. More people moving in. That should solve our employment problems. Get this furniture going. How many is it? Two shields? Two, two shields of furniture exports? 25 units a year. I'm not sure how much exactly this will produce per year. Oh, we need a disease emoji because I forgot doctors. <laughs> Doctor. So that will cover like there, but then we're gonna need another doctor here. Like here, I guess. Right? Yeah, two doctors should cover it for now. Okay. Whew. <laughs> Use the Zack Think emote. Mm. Each workshop produces 400 and... Counting TLS, that, that can't be right. It can't produce 480 units a year. 4.8 carts a year? Oh, 480 as in... Oh, right. Really? One workshop will... will... No, it can't make that much. Divide by five. So it makes 4.8 carts. So that's like five, well, just a little under five, five shipments per year, right? So we need five, 10, 15, 20. We'll need one more workshop, I see, to cover our possible exports. Unemployment, ooh, would you look at that? Uh, we're gonna need another two furniture workshops then. I will fix the arrangement of this later on. I just need this working. That will maximize our... Okay, so we can deprioritize that now. That will maximize our uh, furniture exports there. Okay, enemies are still on the way. We do have a barracks down. No employees live nearby, really? How does... Wait, really? The barracks is too far? 
That's a little unfortunate. I guess the barracks can't be here. Well, to be fair, the barracks should probably be over here, right? Because this is where we're going to be producing weapons. Let's get off all those trees. That road will come down like that. And it'll come through like that to do that. So we will be producing weapons on this island anyway, so the barracks should probably be up here. That would make more sense. Um, okay, but we do need money, and I think we're gonna... Yes! Sell our first units of furniture. Please just give us some money here. Oh. Furniture is not the best export, but it's gonna have to do. 2% unemployment, okay. Before I forget to raise tax rates, I'll raise tax rates. That's not a lot. We gotta get military going, but we don't have money. Food is coming in, so we could always feed people, I guess. <laughs> uh, fire. Damage. Fire. Anything burning down? No. Damage? No. Okay. So, we've managed to max furniture exports with some surplus, which will probably supply... Uh, we might need one more, but that should be fine for now. Just gotta wait for that, and then I guess we could... What else does this place buy? Weapons? So I guess we gotta start on weapons. Of course, of course. <laughs> Is it just there? No, come on. Really? Health? Clinics? This whole block is fine. Uh. Just move in there. Let's bring more people in. Did that hit our employment? Short by eight. I was just about to... Uh, you know what? Market. Right here. Start feeding these guys. One market should start doing some work there. Are people gonna move back in here? Yes, okay, they're on the way. Raw material. Iron mine costs 50. So I guess we go iron mine here. And we could have a weapons workshop. Right here. How much is a weapons workshop? 15. Okay. And we will have a warehouse right here for weapons once those burning houses go away. Uh, health raises and drops gradually, not instantly. Was I too late putting down the doctors? I might have been too late. Anyway, traders are coming in. Yes, yes. This market is going to get to work. Has this cleared off? Almost. These houses are going to move back in here. Fantastic. These houses have been cleared off. Great. Buy some furniture. Thank you very much. We can replace these houses. And we can put down a warehouse right here to accept furniture. Uh, not furniture, weapons. There we go, there we go. Okay. So we'll get a weapons industry going. How much can we sell? A lot, right? This is probably going to be a water trade route, another two shields of weapons. This might be a water or land trade route. This is probably a land trade route, buys marble. 400 to open that. We could always have a dock down here later. Okay, let's, let's focus on... No, we will also set weapons to export as much as possible. What's our employment like? Shot by four. More people should be moving in. Yes, okay. 
How do I maximize this? We're gonna need another warehouse... Like... Here, I think. Start clearing off these trees. Really? Uh, okay, we, we just need to do that even if we go into debt. So we're gonna have... this here. And we just need a fort of javelins. I mean, this is gonna suck, right? We're gonna go into debt for this. Ah. And where can we be invaded from? That basically means they're gonna be here in a year, so we don't have much time. They could invade from this right side, this side here. They could come from down here and over here. They probably won't come from there, but they can, generally speaking. I can't remember exactly where all the invasions come from. But basically, we need to protect... Yeah, set up the, the forts right here, I think. Because then we could run to the right or run to the left to cover things. Maybe I could have them here, in the sort of between place. This seems to be a decent spot to be able to cover left and right. So I think I'll set up the forts here. Uh, I will just, for aesthetic reasons, move that. Fort Javelins. We don't have a choice. We need something. Okay, that puts us in debt. Ah. Uh, and we'll just have to wait for furniture sh sales to come through. I guess I will just put down... Uh, what's our employment like? 2% unemployment? Workshop? Weapons? Just go there first. Uh, raw materials? Marble quarry? Just go there first, warehouse right here. So this one can be for marble, and this one will be for weapons. I'm just gonna shift this around because there will be a dock here eventually on the southern side of the island. So I know that the resources are sort of in the wrong order. The marble quarry should be up here, and the iron mines and workshop should be down here, but it's fine, it's fine. Weapons are gonna start coming in. We are gonna get our first bit of javelin, so at least we have something. Look at this, we are feeding these houses and they need... desirability, basically. Employees needed. Short by four, that's fine. More people are moving in as we feed these houses. And look at this, this still works like a loop, by the way. Look at this. The market lady walks out this way, and because she's walked so far, she then walks back to the market, so she takes the shortest route, which is through the gatehouses. So this is a loop. Ah, ah, see that? See that? I thought of this, I thought of this. It doesn't quite work as well on the larger circle, but uh, you have to think of an imaginary loop being there. Anyway, we fed our first bit of houses. What is the current health of the city? Average. Okay, that should mean we don't get more things trying to kill us. So we are going to be selling weapons as soon as we can. Is our current trade route the one that buys weapons? Yes. So we can start selling weapons soon. Furniture is coming in. It is June. How much furniture have we sold? 12? Middle of the year. So yeah, pretty much we are producing as much furniture as we could sell. I just gotta be careful about uh, spending too much money, because like, no employment problems, that's pretty good. So a dock could go right here. Right? Right there? And who buys marble? This should be a land trade route as well. 400 denarii to open that. So I'll wait for some marble to come in first. When's the next trader coming in? Ugh. At least we've got some javelins. We've got some javelins. Population 800. The gods should still be fine. Okay. Ugh. What do you guys think? You guys like the spiral design? I think it'll work out quite nicely. I think it'll work out quite nicely. And how these roads can sort of come off of the spiral, I think that's pretty good. 
Trader's coming in. Yes, please just get me out of debt first so that we reset the debt timer. Because if you're in debt for like a year, then Caesar gets very unhappy. And the favor requirements on this map are 80. And I try not to use sending a gift. I try not to do that. Oh, which reminds me, I should always drop my salary because I really don't need it. Okay. Did I lower wages to normal? I did, yes. Back to 33, which is what Rome is set to right now. So these caravans coming through, okay, we're going to sell a good number of furniture. Decent number. Couple extra carts will make it for these guys. Okay, there we go. Out of debt. Fantastic. So now we can reset this. So the marble quarries are supposed to go over here. Weapons are starting to come through, which we, means we should start selling weapons. Yeah, you get to see he's going back that way. Gonna start buying weapons. Fantastic. How's our employment? 5%. We can now up our weapons production, which I'm gonna put another iron mine. Here, which will allow for more weapons workshops. I mean, I, I'm not trying to be like 100% efficient with this. Weapons workshop. Weapons workshop. How many units of marble? Two shields? We could sell quite a bit of marble here. Uh, so if I just keep the marble coming we could get things going. Yeah, and have a couple of houses there just to back things up. And we will... That's going to hit our employment, I think. But we will... Is this a land trade route? You know what? I'm, go I'm going to uh, cheat a little bit and just ask you guys. Is this a land trade route? <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember. Ah, uh, Aram28 says, Next housing pattern, double helix? You know, a double helix is basically just a diamond on top of a diamond on top of a diamond. It's not impossible. I mean, it won't look 3D like a double helix, but it's basically diamond, 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 right? It might work, it might work. It's water trade with the marble? Ah, oh, so I do need a dock. Well, marble's starting to come in. We're, are we selling some weapons? Yes! That allows us to put down this dock. That road will just extend up to the dock there. Sold some weapons. So now we can focus on increasing our food production a little bit. There we go. We do need more workers, but if we feed people, then that will bring in more workers. And we need some gardens here to start evolving these houses. You can see I've planned everything to just have the single garden tiles right there. Uh, having the tree. See? This this block is going to look fantastic once it's done. It looks very rough at the start. It looks very rough. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it looks very rough. Uh, but that should be pretty good. We're going to have that extent of there. Okay. And then wherever there's no sort of service uh, between these tiles, I just put a single statue which will look good as well. How's fire, damage, anything gonna burn down? We probably need another prefecture here, don't we? Damage should be fine. Come on, prefecture. These tents, they burn so quick. Okay, good. That reset that. So we've actually managed to get almost a full fort of javelins here, surprisingly. So this first invasion, we're going to have a blessing from Mars, but the second one, we are not going to. Uh, so that's going to suck a little bit, but we do have a dock going. We're short on 24 employees. How is our priority here on industry and commerce? Just a little short. What do these need? Desirability is an issue. Entertainment, yes. Now the question is, do I go into debt for this? 
Ah, oh, having the land merchants go between the weapons and the furniture, by the way, can maximize sales because as they walk around, they come back for things. There we go. So I can put an amphitheater right here. All right, so this amphitheater can go here. And I've planned this as well. We're going to have the gladiator school, which needs to be one tile that way. And yes. Fire damage. I think we need another prefecture on this outer side here. Uh, maybe right here. Yeah. A thousand people. Why is this... Come on, prefects. Come on back this way. I think, yeah. Having an extra one just to be sure. I think this guy's going to come back this way. Yeah. And he's going to cover all that. Okay, don't burn down. Once they're not tense, it's going to be okay. And there we go. These just need desirability to expand further, which means we kind of need, like, plazas to sort of get these expanding, right? There we go. No basic educational facilities means we need schools. Do I put a school right here? No. It should be a live... Ah, oh, no. School's more efficient at low levels. I think right here will be good. Right here. That should cover the inside. Fantastic. Looking good. We are short on 22 employees as people move in. We do have marble stocked up, so I'm going to go into debt to open this trade route so that we can start selling marble. Export all of it. Okay, go to Empire. It is a land trade route. You guys lied to me. I tried to cheat and you lied to me. Come on. <laughs> it's a land trade route. I don't need a dock. You lied to me. Oh, oh well. All right, so there we go. We're evolving up to small casa. This market's struggling to get enough food, but uh, whatever. Why gardens? Because I like the trees. And, you know, I don't want to always use statues. Anyway, we opened up a new trade route for marble, so... That is going to solve our... Um, money problems, I think. So these water trade routes are going to be weapons and marble? Okay. This one is a sea trade route, I expect. Um, so we could always do with more weapons or marble. But as people move in, I kind of need to wait for that to sort itself out. Probably focus on food production. Right? Get these houses evolved, make sure enough food comes in. So yeah, these guys are going to buy quite a bit of marble, I think. How many units do we have? We have six units. So we will sell all of that out. We'll probably be able to sell seven, maybe eight if we're lucky. Yeah. Got quite a bit of weapons as well. But I want to get down a military academy first. Oh, here we go. First invasion. Don't forget to start taxing people. Yeah, I should do that. Uh, now, where are they coming from? This side? Okay. We have a full battalion of this. With a bit of kiting and the blessing from Mars, we should be able to deal with it, I think. What are these guys? Ahmed, Bashim, Marmaduke, Mustafa. Hassan, Saddam, Muammar? Okay. Sounds like there's quite a few of them right off the map there. Come on, spawn. I want to see what we're up against. Bought some marble. Look at that money! Yes! Um, military. Military academy. We could just put one right here, I think. Might as well. Military academy is going to go right there. So that's quite a few of them. That's quite a few of them. A lot of uh, archers, I think. Soldier of Pergamum. Okay. So I actually kind of want... No, don't kill the zebra. I actually kind of want these javelins to kind of die, right? But maybe not. Because they're, they're not trained, right? Academy trained? No. So I guess maybe if I just run them in, we could take some losses. 
10 units of iron? Okay. So, Mars took out all of them? Mars blessings good on, on this map. Huh. Would you look at that? Um, so, okay. Seems like food has sort of stabilized. Uh, we're gonna continue our little garden pattern here. For all these trees, because I like the look of these trees. Let's get it at least the center area all the way done. Okay, let's not miss that. We might need a couple services here, so I'm going to be careful about using them up too much. You could do that. Okay. All right, and the inner circle for these gardens should be pretty much done. I can just continue it around here. There we go. That's what I'm thinking of with these gardens. Now between these we can put single tile statues and look at all that money just coming in. Ah, finally, exports are on the way. Selling marble, selling weapons. So now we can put down Fort Legionaries. We'll get this done now. We could have the rabbits be fully trained Legionaries. That would be good. Okay, so now we can start focusing on other things like stabilizing our food supplies. So let's put down How's our employment? Shot by 18. Let's just get another wharf going right here, because we can. We've got this road available. We could have more furniture industry here, if we so desire. And then more wharves along here. How's this market doing? Market's actually full of food, so if we start building up a bit more of a surplus, we could have a second market going. That would be good. Now, just to show you guys what I mean, is that water not quite reaching? It isn't. Um, now see, on the single tile gaps, we have single tile statues, just to help these evolve. What's holding it back? Desirability? There we go. There we go. And yes, we do need to start taxing people. Forum. Where do we put the farm? Do we put it right in the middle? Probably not. It's not that important. Like somewhere here would be good. Farm, right there. Start taxing people. 5% right now. It's not the highest tax, but enemies closing. Yeah, we're going to expand our military. Food is coming on up, which allows us to put down our second market right here. There we go. Ah, yes. We're establishing our city. It's looking good, right? Pergamum invaders are weak, says Saju. Don't forget to readjust your warehouses. You open the trade route. Yes. Oh, thank you for reminding me. Uh, who said that? C Sokas G. Thank you for reminding me about that. Look at that. Accepting wheat. Oh, I hate how the resources appear when you open the trade route. Uh, meanwhile, we can continue raw materials. Another iron mine, I think. We're a little cramped for space here, but it's, it's okay. Uh, we could just clear those trees there. Workshop weapons. We can have two right there. So it's not the most efficient layout, is it? But, uh, yeah, it's just not the most efficient layout. Employees needed, that's fine. Okay, so this house here is also not currently getting water. So we kind of need a fountain over here. Yeah, might as well. So this market's taken some food, okay. We'll probably need a few plazas here and there to help these things evolve. That reservoir is gonna be a bit of a killer. And as we slowly add plazas, it should help these evolve. There we go, bringing in more people. And I guess to test, I'm going to put down the first working building on this side. That should work. Alright, and furniture, is that going to sell a lot? It is currently November. How much furniture have we sold this year? Is it maxed out? It is. 
Okay, fantastic. We've maxed out sales of furniture. So we are p uh, producing currently a surplus, enough to supply this area. Which is good. All right, all right. And basically, our city is established. Uh, Blue Knight 2345 says, First time watching me live. Welcome, Blue Knight. Uh, Zach Gods. Oof. <laughs> I need some iron for Caesar. Yes, I do need that as well. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and stabilize the gods. Um, I guess we just have more temples scattered around here. Right? On the outer row, we could have more. Just continue the spiral. It just takes up so much space, doesn't it? Um, I guess we'll just... have like... Venus, Ceres, uh, yeah, all these outside areas are actually covered, so, uh, Venus, Ceres, Neptune, you know what, Neptune can go over here, no, I'll put it over here. to make sure the walker does actually walk down that way and pass the houses. Neptune, Mercury, we can stick you over here. And Mars. I'll just see if that's close enough to actually get employees. Because earlier we put something here, it spawns on the far side, I see. So this guy. I haven't eaten for so long. We're in trouble. The gods are annoyed with us. <laughs> I never click on the people to actually hear their feedback. But let's see. This guy, he walks down this way. And does he actually touch a house? Uh, let's not lose track of him. He walks this way. Okay, okay. And then he, yeah, he should pass that house right there. Yeah. So for some reason, the barracks brown walker just didn't get very far, it seems. Oh well, legionnaires are coming on in. Money is... Uh, okay. Uh, commerce, tax income. Really? Oh, it's January. It's January, so... Uh, <laughs> it doesn't actually show much. The school child goes up to here. So then we don't have any basic education here. I probably need to clear off some of these houses a little bit here and there to make room for things, but... I think for the most part... Fire, damage, fire, damage, fire. For the most part, we should be fine. And I can start putting in some extra houses on the outside here. Now, feeding this row back here might be a little tricky, but if a market is like here, and then it like walks down that way, and then a market is like here and walks down that way, it should actually cover. It should actually cover. And the nice thing about this setup is market ladies walking on these outer roads help feed the inner roads as well. So it sort of helps distribute the responsibility. And to evolve these houses. Are these getting food? Which way is the market? Is the market lady only walking down to the right side? Because I think I'm going to need to have a market right here. Right? Not too far. Maybe here. Yeah, the market lady is just... Let me just check. Commerce. Food stocks. Where is this market lady walking to? Is it always to the right? I think so. And do take note that they do use this as a little bit of shortcut. So don't have houses right at the corner. That'll be bad. Well, maybe I could get away with just putting a market here. It's not that far. Right? Let's try that. Let's have a market over in this corner. She does have to walk a little bit of a ways, but with the market ladies helping each other out, it's actually fine. Now, fountains. 
I'm gonna need one right. One, two, three. We'll keep one there. And we're gonna need a fountain here as well. One, two, there. Right there. To get these houses evolved. All right. And I think that is going to be pretty much phase one for this map. Look at that. It's actually established quite well. We have a good military going. We have food coming in pretty significantly. No employees live nearby. Yeah, this is too far, strangely. Uh, small temple, Mars. We're just going to bring it up, I guess, and have it right here. Yeah, we're going to just have the Mars temple there. Because, you see, Mars is angry. Not a good god to have angry on this map, and we are just going to throw a festival for Mars while we're at it. Okay, so that should be a good start to our city. Alright, that's going to be the end of phase one of Tarsus, where we've started to build our first main spiral, and I think it's looking pretty good. Anyway, if you'd like to continue on to phase two, where we're going to be fully developing that main spiral and expanding our city, just click the button on the screen right now and it'll take you right to it. And don't forget to tune in as well for phase three, where we're going to be getting villas and basically developing many, many spirals. Alright, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.